Oh, good day again. Okay, I'm got a major dilemma here. If you've, uh, you've been following this channel, you know that yeah, quite a while back I changed the quarter panel and put a brand new quarter panel on the other side. And uh, I've just fitted the door on on the other side. And because uh, well, the reason for fitting the door is I bought a statesman door. I bought two statesman doors. This is one on this side uh, with electric windows and all the chrome and all the rest of it. And, yeah, the other one didn't fit. It was all full of bog. Yeah, it didn't fit real good. So I'm going to put the original door back on and the plan is to cut the top edge off it. I'll show you the top edge. I'll show you what I'm going to... I could buy a pin kit, but I'm having trouble buying anything right at the moment. I've got too many expenses. And I don't know what I've done with it. Yeah. Anyway, the plan, oh yeah, I do know what I've done with it. It's on the other side. But the plan is to cut this whole top section off the door and put that onto my original door. It's my original door. Which I thought was pretty straight, but. Turns out it's not as straight as I thought it was. And uh, I'll take around, I should have started the video around the other side actually. You can see what I'm talking about. Alright, now this is a uh, rare spares to get quarter. And it all fitted on, no issues. The only real drama was it seemed to be back too far down here. I actually had to fill in, there was a bit, a bit too much of a gap down here, so I filled that in with a bit of metal. But it fitted nicely everywhere else. So I welded it all in, and uh, then when I fit the door, because I found that the, the crease on the door wasn't straight to begin with, it came right down here, and I put a straight edge on it. I've actually cut that so that I can... Yeah, bring the crease up straight, so that had been repaired at some point in the, in the past and not done properly. But it was still, you know, the quarter panel was still a quarter inch too high, the crease. You know, and I've got the door as high as I can get it, as high as it'll go. And I've got too much of a gap down the bottom, if you can see that. Not too bad, but... Yeah, it should be about a quarter inch, that's, you know, close to three-eighths, you know, like ten mil. So, but, of course, I've been sitting down thinking about it, and, uh, yeah, so when I, when I first got this van, this quarter panel was stoved right in, or it was pushed right in here, just at the, Start of the wheel lights, it was pushed in, it was about you know, four inches in. And I just got the jack in there and jacked it back out and I tried to panel beat and I couldn't get the right, which is why I eventually changed the quarter panel because I couldn't get the shape here right. And it was flopping and, yeah, these top parts were flopping too. And I've ended up... We'll show it with the light camera. Yeah. And sort of see it. I've added a piece of angle bar on the inside to take just to stop it flopping around this window area. And uh, so, so this whole back you know, roof section, the whole thing has been pushed over. Yeah, whatever it put this dent in it was a major, yeah, a, a major whack. And even when. Yeah. When I made up, I got a one piece tailgate that I made up and I made it exactly off the other two. And what I found when I put it on is I had to take a bit off this quarter, of this corner here, and I had to add a bit to this corner, which means that the whole, the whole thing has been pushed over. And I think that 
is a big part of the issue is that where I've, you know, where I've welded the new panel onto the car isn't straight to begin with. Um, so, you know, I've got this big gap here in the door and ever since I've had this van, I've had this big gap in the door and you can't push the door anymore back any further because, so you've got the right gap up here, but down here it's huge. So, you know, when it got, it had this impact, it's obviously pulled this back and, uh, yeah, so yeah, I really I wish that I'd have had put the door on when I did the quarter panel and checked it before I welded it all in. Yeah, this is a major issue now. I've, I've cut all the way down the real arch. I've cut right along the bottom. I've cut right up the side, and I've cut yeah, two foot back along the top here. And now I'm gonna have to do. Yeah, the best stitch weld I've ever done now, I'm going to buckle it. So I've got a big dilemma ahead of me now to yeah, go very slowly and very carefully and not buckle it. But anyway, as I said, I've moved it. Oh, I probably moved it a quarter inch, but it's still, you know, it's still... Well, I'm talking in inches, and as I keep talking in inches, it's still like an eighth of an inch too high. And uh, so I can't, I can't really move it any further. So now I'm going to have to make, I'm going to have to modify the door. Well, I've got, I've got the crease lining up, but I've got the door too high, which means it's too high up here, which is not really that much of an issue because. I'm going to change the top anyway. I'll just put the top down yeah, a few more lower. But along the bottom, I've got this big gap. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bit of fence and wire or something. Weld a bit of fence and wire right along this bottom edge. Close that gap up a little bit. And I'm also going to have to do something here. So this is how, also how, achieve bringing it down and this this was a problem with the panel itself in that it had too much bulge in it see what i did right, cut them ones off there's still one of them on here so i welded some tabs one on one on the panel and one on the sill i did this both ends put a bolt through it and I wound it down, and of course it, yeah, the panel sort of didn't like it. It actually got a little bit of a buckle here, which is why I, put, I had to put a cut in that to relieve. It was pulling a buckle into it. That's how I managed to get it down. But yeah, like it's now, it's now overlapping where I cut it at the bottom. I'm going to cut some more. So this panel. Yeah, unless this entire sill is pushed up as well, which is possible, but I think it's more likely that the actual panel's not exact right shape. And, uh, yeah, anyway, this, yeah, this is really stressing me out. Yeah. Also, here, I'm going to have to fix this gap. I can't pull the door back any further because... And then I end up with it touching up here. So I'm going to have to fill this in. I think on the quarter panel I'm going to add more panel to this inside edge. I was thinking I might have pulled in too far. See, I cut this. I cut this. Uh, find the door, mate. See where I cut this down here. Now I cut that evenly. It was about half inch down. You can see this is actually pulled in a half inch. Yeah, right down. Or in the middle here anyway. And I think I'm geez, that's probably 
pulled in too far. But then I made a template of the other side. And guess what? It actually fits it pretty good. Which that there tells me straight off that yeah, this panel wasn't right to start with. Had way too much bulge in it. And you see this this is the original this is the the board panel, not the original panel, this is where it fits in. Yeah. So th this bulge doesn't change. You can't change it without cutting it because of the way they've, they've made it. So they've made it with too much bulge in it. So, yeah. And uh, you can see yeah. This is this is where the crease is on the other side. They so brought it down, but yeah, like that. Yeah. So we're still we're not exactly right. We're still a couple of mils too high. This crease is still a couple of mils too high. But as I said, this is as good as I can get it without you know, cutting off the entire panel. So as I said, I'm going to leave it at that now and. And uh, yeah, modify the door to match the quarter panel. And uh, yeah, this is really crucial. It's uh, an issue when you've got you know, a straight crease pulling, running full length of the car. Yeah, if it's not straight, you're going to notice it. Oh shit! Look at this. Got wet wood. I forgot about it. All right. You have to open the windows. I was trying to dry it out in a hurry because it didn't have any anything dry. <laughs> uh. <coughs> a shed full of smoke now. Should have got that off there before I started making a video. Yeah. Anyway, so that's where. I'm at, that's the dilemma I've got at the moment. Yeah, it's sort of... I'm an hour in about actually making a video. You got this, you know, because... You know, I mean, part of it... is the panel... and part of the problem is my own fault for not checking everything before I fully welded the thing in, you know. So, yeah, it's a bit sort of embarrassing. Because, uh, you know, I was convinced I'd done a really good job of welding that in. But, uh, yeah, should have put the door on and checked it. And sorted this issue out before I welded it in. But... All right, I'll leave it now. Oh, I'm going to step outside, out of the smoke. All right. Catch us later. Bye.